I think it's why it's about making that play. Bad idea to bring a knife to a gunfight, but this feels like bringing an AR to a shotgun fight. Nade's gonna go out. A doozy just holding this line, waiting for him to step forward. Just pop, makes it clean, gets Ooh. a second one. A doozy will not stop. He knows exactly what's gonna happen, and FaZe Clan gonna get eliminated while this. Look at the Sox just bisecting in, realizing, hey, you play the high side of the hill. We've already got the end of this. You guys fight it out, and not gonna be leading the way. Picks up two already. Gonna be Uber on the other side of it, and Anonics on fire. Finds the third as well. Clean sweeps. Navi, yes, they can now wrap on down the other side. Issue is damage is done already. Two players down. There's no way that they should be allowed to get the reses on up here. Sonics slowly creeping forward again. Got the weapons. Got the Kevlar and the helmets available too. We'll see if they can claim this one in a four versus two. Atrium play the low side. Trimsy just pushing inside the smokes. Loki on one position for Anonics. You tried to make a miracle happen a second ago. Can you do it again? It's going to be trying to hold the line. Does manage to get one of them down. Anonics looking down that hillside. Does he go for the kill? Does he pick up the KP? Does he go for the win? He's going to go down, and Sonics pick that one up. Very, very smart game here by Sonics, understanding that, yes, there were chances for them to go aggressive earlier in the match, but they ditched it being a new king of Asian region as a whole, and we'll see if they can get it started here. Babsang hit, first one to Paul, to the MG3 of Xiaopian, as they instantly have with that Navi situation going on. With this reposition coming out from Danua, they are the benefactors. They got the time to get back into their positions. They're creeping into this one, and they now know Danua is going to be right up on top of T5. T5's prepping up the nades, though. Danua is about to have a red zone on top of that. Sonics don't have to do nothing but let this one play out in very similar fashion to the previous match. They can sit back and allow for chaos to unfold as Russ hits it accidentally. Nades' his teammate just two left alive on the side of third and five, trying to prevent Sonics from going back to back in the first two matches here. Smokes are down. Spray is coming up. Tickleton now the last one up. T5 Ooh. found their aim when they needed it. Trying to just go for a blind spray. Does connect. And now 1v1. T5 does get a res up though. So that's going to equalize this. Make it a bit more complicated. Not a lot of time to work with. Is it oh. is going to be Tickleton that spots him out. It got dangerous for a moment there as H-Win shoots Trimsy from behind. But out victorious they come as the fans rejoice. The Sonics fans are in the build. It was definitely my fault. I walked right in front of him. You know, we made a mistake, happens, and, uh, you know, thank goodness for TIG, you know, it's insane. Just for TIG. North of that school area. Now, as we hop back up towards Expendables and 4AM, keep in mind that Dano are hearing these shots and they're somewhat nearby, but there hasn't been knocks in a little while, so we're not sure exactly how much info do they have, what do they really want to go off of, but there is a good chance for the vehicles already Expendables, they're going straight in his direction. Looks like he's just gonna have to figure it out. Do I just hunker down? Circle goes right in the saw. No honking. big surprise. <gasps> Bump into him, gonna cross over. Shot's gonna come out from Dutch, who's not gonna be able to take him down. Instead, ship's passing in the night and just trying to get away. <laughs> scrappy has to be careful that this fight doesn't get too scrappy for him as it's just sending it into the hillside. Problem is, Navi has now seen this. Yeah. They hear what's gonna be going on. How, is he gonna get away with this? And catching some airtime, it looks like he might, if it can ever get his vehicle to right itself. You know what? I mean, credit where credit's due. He got out of there, he got into the city, and if the if you're going to be in the long run. Time to make the play on a hot want. Playing this one, gets the shots out, does get the knock on to one. He is revealed, he's in the open, but he has some support from his teammates. Moving forward with the shotgun, trying to go for the blast into it, can't quite connect. Finally does find one, but now it's all going to be team. What? Going apart with the nade! The nade just rips him apart! <laughs> Both teams taken out as the fall of nade gets the last play from Theron on five as well. Start to fade away. Molotov, Blue Zone Nade's going to stop this push. Expendables don't want to go too far. They know the fact that they have Tanvu back behind them is keeping an eye on what's going to be going on. Scappy does manage to take out the two ones. There's an awkward solo 1v1 over there, but we can see that the remnants of 17 are trying to hold this one. Xiaowu just looking directly into that pathing, waiting for someone to come in. Del1 has that ridge, but 777 stacked together. Luckily, no grenades. going to be landing seven, on the side. 777 yeah. alongside the rest of Expendables would have really wanted oh, for this fight nades. to be over a long time ago. One good nade here could be the downfall of three players and they seemingly, oh. at least for a moment, have forgotten about Navi. One oh. nade could be the downfall of all of them. And Alia, with one nade lopped on over, takes out the entirety of Expendables. And now it is just come apart. 17 Gaming just trying to hold whatever they can, see if maybe they can survive through. But there is what? nothing that can be done. Navi, with that wide split, controlling the game for so, so long, gonna walk away with the victory too. <laughs> Алия сол дик эмоцион и сол. Макро игры мы играли весь турнир хорошо, просто нам не хватало чуть агрессии, чуть уверенности. И нам не хватало просто стрелять две головы по типам. И поэтому сейчас мы играем более агрессивно и стараемся отжимать позиции и просто драться, наслаждаться игрой.
Uh, previously, we were not as aggressive as we are, and now we are just more aggressive and more confident, and we are just, yes, getting the positions. حابين ناخذ رايه بسؤال ثاني اللي هو كان حاليا انتم متواجدين بمركز عالي جدا في الترتيب العام ف if the circle yeah. does go this way and given the fact of how much is milly and water and stuff like that there's a decent chance that it could this is very strong now, i'm not saying that creates predict circles but if they do then uh, we're in for a treat in just about one second let's see where we're going oh. we're actually going south there is no way that just happened all right oh. Get in your cars and get going, because this buffet is completely a four years for the taking. Look at Jinji, they're like, okay, this isn't the path that we really wanted for this plane, but maybe we can shift into Noble. <laughs> Everybody now has hop inside the vehicles. It's just going to be wild on this bridge. Faze has got the inside track on it. As you can see now, it's going to be shots coming out from, it's going to be Navi taking those into Twisted Minds as they're trying to make their rapid. Four increment hopping inside their vehicles as well. The Expendables in their position inside of Milta getting ready to make their just as now. Falcon's going to be pathing into this similar angle. 17 Gaming already taking the shots into them. It's going to make it a bit more awkward as Uju just trying to hold it. Does get the knock on that one. Little ghost provide. Do come out victorious in the end. Have to fully reset as fast as possible, though. There's Atrian right now. Currently the only one tasked with defending the rest oh, of the no. team. Here comes Melman down the hillside. He goes. Parachute full speed forward. Able to land. You'd have to imagine. But the rest of the team on bike strikes to make their way down towards him. In the crater down below. And just like that, somehow, all of them get down here. I say safely, but Ali broke his angles on approach. Hey, he at least got to a resible position. The problem with it is his phase, uh -oh. who's been kind of locking down this area for a while, they still have a lot of nades. They still got a lot of Molotovs. Hard hat man himself doesn't have to put in too much work. Just got to put out a couple of throwables. Doesn't want to peek too much just yet, but that's because Gustav's going to be following in. That bull is just going to be cooking with nades, with Molotovs, and Mel realizes he got to get out. I know. I think this is phase realizing that we want to keep these nades for as long as so possible. Saw that. Now he's going to play this a lot more quiet. Wait for the peek out. Goes for the spray and doesn't get the knock. DG's going to go down. Hold him come down. Try to make sure that he doesn't take too much out of this. Molotov's going to be a bit too far. Meds do come out for DG. Now it's going to be EG. Trying to make sure that he can get something out of this one. But EG just can't really find the angle to work with. Gustav continuing to hold this line miraculously. He is so annoying for these Gen G players. Perfect edge control play. Baiting the attention. Allowing for face plants with every single step. Take more and more control in this circle. And single-handedly Gustav now forcing them to turn around as James peaks on the second time around. Gen G is playing whack-a-mole against the entirety of FaZe Clan and they are hitting their shots and now 4v1. This should be FaZe clear win as the flush comes through onto EJ. Push on both sides of it and it's a flank. There is nothing that can be done. That was just absolute perfection. Mind games, control, everything coming up for FaZe. What a game as well. We see Luke there, the manager of the team. Everyone happy that FaZe finally gets something going. Remember, they are only two Two players left alive, so a little more limited how much pressure they can really apply in this situation as well. What? How did he run over two people? Um, I, I don't know. Gnomes! Revoke his driver's license! Somebody's never touching a vehicle again after this is all I can say. They're gonna have to retreat away from Sunken City. <laughs> We do have four teams that made the commitment into Sunken City and not a one into Ruins. So we're kind of keeping an eye on the movement there. A lot of our teams did wrap up to the north. Most notably, it's going to be four angry men. Wants too much more out of this. They were just wanting to slow roll to kind of get an idea on what's in front of them. Sonics, if they get enough, they might want to do something. Oh! games it in the end you love to see it gonna be the, about the only thing that uh -oh. they can get out of this whole situation is like the replay coming back <laughs> <laughs> he actually just flew straight into his face with a kind of valiant death but just full if you mind game pt is gonna be moving right back behind you and g mortar is gonna be landing in danua though having to contend in with the four angry men or i guess two angry men and two ex happy men as it's gonna to have to be navigated here pretty closely yeah four angry men though has got to be careful as the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh they wanted that nade so even the feet are protected oh we're able to take him oh. down as well able to get oh. the reset on as well dangerous lives third on five are living here but now down to just low cliff the life issue is they've both committed to rest so Loki should be able and will be able to get Anonyx back on his feet. Again, keep in mind, Theradon 5 will have to get out of this compound, will have to move south. And now Loki and Anonyx are sat there ready and waiting for it. They've surrendered all information. T5 is walking this one near on blind. They had to commit into the reses on both members. So with this, they're now moving out to this wall. 
playoffs, seeing if maybe they can touch something, if they can get some type of aggression. And Knox reading that, mirroring it down to the south, knows the fact that they're going to be coming in from that western side, gets a beat into it, takes a couple of shots, but saw the numbers and how fast they're going to be coming out. Path and Pong moving down into this one. Is he going to be able to spot it, or is Knox going to hold the line? No utility to work with. It's all just dry peaks from Loki. As he peaks and fights the double. The swing around doesn't work, but there is Crossington. Able to find one as the second one comes through. He will get himself the double, and third on five prevails. They come. Full speed forward. They go. Vex finds the first. Will more come over? Yes, correct. See, they have to find the second. A stuck smite with just one HP. Able to drive off into the distance. No, not going to happen. Vex denies. And Tycon rolls off. <laughs> <laughs> wishing upon wishing wow. that maybe they decide to swim. While this is going on, guess what happened? <gasps> <laughs> uh, I I don't have words. <laughs> this is just this is just, just a Cerberus day in a nutshell. Tycon. <laughs> Расчехляем гранату, Фейза. Ну? Давай. Первый пошел, блядь. Второй пошел. Второй пошел. И третий. Давай, и третий пошел, блядь. Добить. Добить. Сюда. Один хп уехал. Я там 15 сделал, чтобы меня вообще разъебать, блядь. Об забор врежься вообще нахуй. Еще забор забагался. А точно цесы разрубали жесткие. молодой, Спасибо за забор, Taking control over the circle, the dot is smack in the middle of this road, and now it's going to be about who's got the aim. Best lock's going to have to go ahead and get the knock on his fire over. But where is Lou right now? He's got the throwables out. It's going to roll right next to Best Lock. Not take him down. Not going to go down at all on that one. The famous is still ringing as Best Lock gets healed on up. But Doji does go down to low HP. But Fectix living at least for a little moment longer. As that vehicle is going to blow up in just a short moment. Perfectix is on the other side, trying to peek on over the side. That vehicle is going to leave Nancy <laughs> open, but there is the I'm deployable shield. I'm not done with cover yet. You're going to get rid of that one. I've got more to give you. Perfectix needs to find something. It's going to be Lou that goes down. What is he going to do? He's got all of the members for question mark. Now just beat it in right on top of him. He's got a road that he has to cross. There is nowhere to go, and that is just perfect control coming up from question mark. I love the fact that you have fans sat there with a shirt that both has a question mark and a Twisted Minds logo on it. You know you're going to be satisfied regardless of who comes out victorious. But here they are, question mark. Solid.